guys what's going on it's kaigo1324 up here today with uh something a little bit different i don't know why the camera's doing this weird uh lighting thing i don't know it's the best lighting i can do at the moment so but up here today with something special um i talked about this a little bit in a video the other day now i'm going to be doing something a little bit different I'm going to be taking a bag, big trip back to the past because I have here a massive bag full of game, PS2 games that I had as a kid. Now, don't bear in mind, these aren't the games that I had as a kid and still have today. These are games that I just brought or picked up that I may have had as a kid. You know, games that I originally had and then obviously got rid of, moved on to other consoles and then obviously have now gotten back because I'm going for a full PS2 set. And I'm a big PS2 collector, as you know. Now, anyway, anyway, so, um, all of these games I have, have fond memories of, so I have something to say about each of them, I'm not going to spend too long on this, I don't want to do it forever, because I want to do a series where I play each and every one of these games, I want to play at least every single game that I have, that's what I'm trying to do, and I've been doing that with the Xbox One lately, um, but um, I do want to do a series called uh, Back to the Past, where we play not the shitty games that suck ass. Some sick games. Now, most of these games are very decent. But this is mainly for a reason. I can sort of go back to the past and go, are these games just as good? Or perhaps as time not been kind to them? Um, these are in no particular order whatsoever. I'm just going to take the games out and then we'll talk about them when we see them. Anyway, uh, up first, um, I do want to talk to you about these two games together. So, um, up first, I have here called a game called Spartan Total Warrior. Now... Um, there are a few games on here that I did play a lot of, but I played them on, say, GameCube, because I had a GameCube as well. This was one of them that I played on GameCube, but, um, I thought I'd talk about the PS2 version. Um, there's not much different. Second. There's not much different between the two versions, but this game was fucking amazing. I ain't telling you no lies, guys. If you like fucking hacking slash games or you like Spartans, this game is awesome. It gives me uh, big, like, Shadow of War vibes. Um, Shadow of Rome, sorry, should I say. Um, lots of enemies to kill, good boss fights, um, good upgrade systems, some cool different weapons you can use. And overall, this is a really fun game. I really enjoyed this game. And even to this day, this one holds up because I remember playing it um, when I got my PS2 back. And I really enjoyed this one. So this is definitely one that I'm looking forward to. Uh, then we had State of Emergency. I remember this because uh, it's got a sticker on there that says, Strictly, for, not for sale, for under 18s. Um, yeah, not many games had a sticker on them to say that you weren't allowed to sell it to under 18. Normally, it just had the rating on it and, you know, it was really down to discretion of the uh, company or the, the game shop that was selling it, really. But State of Emergency was a pretty fun game. Arcadey, and basically it was really cool because you just got to run around and just cause havoc. Kill loads of people, blow shit up. Really fun game. Uh, some challenging... A gameplay on this one there's some challenging mode where you have to get a certain score in a certain amount of time um the second game i haven't yet played but i hear the second game sort of is a bit different and uh sort of went away from this sort of style of gameplay it'd be an interesting one to see come back because i really enjoyed that one now i take you guys in another video that one of the memories that i had was watching my brother play metal gear solid so as with the first one the second and third ones um, also had a big impact on my life. Even though I weren't necessarily great at these games or didn't really play too much of them, I remember watching my brother play all these through the world. The second game gets a lot of hate, but I think the second game's actually very good. Um, I'm not great at Metal Gear Solid, I will say. I've never been too great at stealth games. But I did enjoy this one. I think the story is great. If you're not interested in playing the game, at least watch a play for on YouTube and see the story for yourself because the story is fantastic. Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid is actually an amazing series. Full of great cutscenes. I know a lot of people hate on the fact that there's too many cutscenes. You can skip them. But it's kind of like, if you don't, if you don't want to skip parts of a movie, do you? 
two got a lot of hate um, as it went on, but number three was amazing. I remember being amazed by this. This was one of the first survival games that I ever heard of. Now, I know it's not the first ever survival game, but this one really took it to the mainstream. Um, I remember watching my brother play this, going, oh my god, you're able to eat animals, kill snakes and eat them. You could throw them at people. Um, you this, you get all these different costume, um, camouflage and paints that you'd have to wear. Uh, the boss fights were amazing. The end boss fight in this game is amazing. And as with um, the first game, there was a little uh, thing with Psycho Mantis. Look it up. I don't want to spoil it for you. Just look it up because it's worth looking up. But in this game, there's a character called The End. And he's a old man with a sniper rifle and the boss fight is essentially in, in you're in this forest and he's hidden and you can either snipe him with your sniper rifle find him before he finds you or you can um go and find him on the map and sneak up behind him but there was two interesting things about this there's a part in the game where you see him in a wheelchair and if you have a sniper rifle, you're able to kill him before and then just completely skip the boss fight. That was really cool. And another thing, um, PlayStation 2 had a clock. And if you set the clock forward when you got to the end boss fight, he'd die of old age. Oh, yeah. That was amazing. I, can't, I, I couldn't believe that when I was a kid. I was oh, my God, no way is that a thing. In fact, I didn't find out about the clock thing till afterwards. But the boss fight is amazing. It's one of them... It's one of them boss fights that um, really stuck out. The whole game is fantastic. The story, again, is amazing. Um, but, yeah, great game. Um, but, yeah, amazing. Here's another one from my childhood. Destroy All Humans. I remember this game because this was the first game where I sort of played. You played as a, an alien going around killing humans. Normally with video games, it was the other way around. You played as a human killing aliens. I know it's not the first of its kind. But I remember being impressed by this game as a kid. Now, I have played this since. Um, it holds up for some parts. The second game's a little bit better because you can do two-player. Um, but I do remember, I think I rented this one at first. And then I remember when I played it. And I loved this game as a kid. It was it's a hilarious game. I remember when you found the cows and the first thing you did with them was shoot them up in the air. Because that really uh, was funny for me. I, I found that hilarious as a kid. Here's another one, Seek and Destroy, maybe not the best game out there, but I remember this one, I had this one as a kid, tank game, what I remember the most about this game was the two player mini games, there was all these different mini games you could do, like races, or like uh, obstacle courses, or certain battles where you could only use certain tanks, I remember this game being really fun, sort of a precursor to World of Tanks, now, nowadays there's so many tank games out there, but I had this one as a kid, Seek and Destroy, a play it title, I loved it. Can't talk about my channel without mentioning Dynasty Warriors. Of course, I'm a big fan of the Warriors series. Looking forward to Warriors Orochi 4. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 2 was the first Dynasty Warriors game. Uh, it wasn't the first officially, but the first game was on PS1 and it was a fighting game. One-on-one -on -one fighting game like Soul Calibur. However, this game took the, um, the, the first game and goes, you know what, we're changing it. And it really showed off what the PlayStation 2 was capable of because it was one. It was an early title or a launch title. I think it was an early title, 2001. No, 2000. So it might have been a launch title, actually. I remember just seeing how crazy all the enemies on the screen. Um, the game holds up so-so today. It's not as polished. It, it isn't as good. Um, the newer ones are better because it's faster paced. But this one... I have played, it's still fun, but I remember playing this as a kid, and I fell in love with the Warriors series, still to this day, I've got, I've got all of them on PS2 now, and um, I, I want to get every single Warriors game, even if it means I have to get the same game twice on different consoles, I'm more than welcome to do that. Um, can't talk about uh, another fantastic game on my channel, Cell Damage Overdrive. I love this game, this is Twisted Metal, vehicle combat game, but cartoony. I remember playing this game. I can put this game in right now and I can play this for hours on end. It's so fun. The humor is great. The gameplay is great. The weapons are so fun. Played this game to death with my brothers. And the fact is I've got this game on here on my Wii Cube. And I've also got it digital HD version on my Xbox One. Yeah, it's the same fucking game. In fact, the HD version I found uh, had a few more glitches in it for some reason. But uh 
absolutely love this game. Can't wait to do a video on it. Some of these are, are, are part of like little series here. Ah, oh, now we can't talk about PlayStation 2 without mentioning the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy. Now, I know there's Vice City Stories and Liberty City Stories. They were originally on PSP and then they came out on the PS2. I gave them a go, but I don't remember too much about them. Grand Theft Auto 3 was the game that really, because it was one of the first games that we had on the PS2. And I remember my brother playing it and I was blown away by this. I was used to um, the 2D Grand Theft Auto game. Uh, I played a bit more, a little bit of Grand Theft Auto 2 before I played this one as a kid. And I remember being blown away by this game. Still a great game today, a must play game. The third game really set the standard for Grand Theft Auto. But uh, it, it only got better because Vice City, it took the game, Grand Theft Auto 3, and expanded on that. Added so much to it, like boats, bikes, more weapons, activities, being able to change your clothes, side missions, and all these other cool things. This game has, has a legacy that lives to this day, and people are asking for this game to be remastered to this day. That's how good this game is. And a lot of people will say this is the best Grand Theft Auto of all time. There are people out there. I'm one of these people that say it's a fantastic one, but it's not the best one. In my opinion, the best one has to be, and I know a lot of people are going to agree with me this one, San Andreas. Oh yeah, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, this was the game back in the day. You could do so much in this game. I was, I remember being amazed by being able to go on BMXs, doing tricks on them, getting this, like, making your character, like, get fat or get fit, going to the gym, all these side missions, the co-op mode. You could actually play this game on co-op. There were two co-op modes where it would take sort of a bird's eye view sort of camera, Kind of traditional, uh, similar to the uh, old school uh, Grand Theft Auto on PS1. But I remember there was a free roam mode and there was also a um, rampage mode, which is essentially just survival kind of thing. But I remember the free roam mode was amazing. I was blown away. And still to this day, there hasn't been a, a Grand Theft Auto game that, had, that has two player on one screen. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5 are online and all this shit, but San Andreas was amazing. This game has come out again on the Xbox 360 and now backwards compatible on the Xbox One. So if you want to play it on the Xbox One, you can do that. I don't have the Xbox 360 version yet. I might have to get it. Uh, here's another series um, that I really enjoyed as a kid. Prince of Persia. I am. I have got the two thrones, but I don't really... Um, I never really played too much of that one. I remember being blown away by the F Prince of Persia. The PlayStation 2 blew me away. A lot of the games did. Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. I love this game. I always say that these games are precursors to Assassin's Creed. And a lot of people will agree with me on that because of the free running aspect. This game really showed me this awesome thing where you could run up on walls, climb up, climb down, do all these great things. This game was great because there were certain ca characters in this game called the Sand Creatures. And the only way you could kill them was by using the Sand Dagger. But you could also use that Sand Dagger to rewind, rewind time. So if you fucked up and basically jumped off a cliff, you could rewind time and then do it again. So you get a second chance kind of thing. Um, this game is still amazing to this day. This game has been released on the PS3 as a trilogy and you can get it on PS2 as a trilogy but the HD version on PS3 and I think I have the HD version so I'd recommend the HD version because you get all three games in HD. Uh, Warrior Within um, I, I really enjoyed as well and um, this game uh, again expanded on the first one I kind of missed the uh, sound element the time element that was one in this game but the camp the combat was great I remember being able to pick up enemy weapons again really sort of um, expanded on the first game the two thrones sort of made it a little bit more like God of War I felt so that's why I didn't include it um, here's another series that I loved as a kid, Army Men, but there was only one Army Men game on PS2 I had a kid as a kid and that's Green Rouge. Um, this game is ugh. It got bad reviews. Um, it's basically an on-rail shooter. You're basically the two army men and you're walking. Bird's eye view, you're constantly walking and then you just shoot them as they come out. It's ugh. Um, I never, I never be, I was never able to get past like the second level in this game. It's a, it was a hard game as a kid. Haven't played it since. I'm gonna have to go back to it. Love the Army Men series because one of my favourite toys as a kid were plastic Army Men. I remember my granddad had a big box um, 
full of loads of them. And I'm not talking about the cheap ones. I'm on about ones that you would get in um, Airfix or Screwfix, um, not Screwfix, Airfix sets and all these great sets like that. Um, so I remember that as a kid and I, I was amazed by the, uh, uh, the, the plastic army men characters uh, going up, going up war. They're they're okay games, but uh, just the just the um, ability to be able to play as a little plastic army man was a novelty for me. Can I see this up a little bit because I've got a ton. True Crime, the series. Uh, True Crime, Streets of L.A. and New York City. Streets of L.A. I loved as a kid. However, I played it and it's bad. It's not that great anymore. The combat's a bit. I remember it being awesome as a kid because it was like a a kung fu sort of. Uh, cop game and uh, I remember being able to do all these driving around as a cop and stuff and doing all the little um, police quests like having to disarm bombs or go in fighting. I loved the fighting as a kid but it don't hold up too well today but True Crime New York City however this game took the first game expanded on it you were able to go up to people um, what I used to do a lot in this game is just go up to random people and frisk them and hope that they had some drugs on them so I could get some extra points. I loved going into people's shops and buying things. I used to go into people's shops and shoot shit up. Um, great game, great cop game, but don't get the Xbox version because the Xbox version has a glitch that happens on the final boss fight that stops the game and it just doesn't load and you lose your save file. So be careful on that. And then we had Devil May Cry 2 and 3. Similar thing to the first um, Metal Gear Solid. My brother used to play these. I've got the first one. I have played through the first one all the way. Um, but I didn't really play that as a kid. Devil May Cry 2 got a lot of hate. But I remember this game being pretty awesome. I liked this game because it had two characters. You were able to play as Dante and um, Lucia as well. He was a, a female character. This game is really fun. This is my brother's favourite one. and um, But my favourite one was 3. I really liked the third game. I love the boss fights in this game. I love the um, the brothers, the two brothers, Virgil and Dante. I love that. Great hack and slash game. I can't wait to do a playthrough on this one. Um, I'm not going to do playthroughs on all of these games. I'm probably just going to do a video on them. But some of these games might get, get a playthrough. Oh yeah, Summer Slams tonight. But this is Backyard Wrestling. This game, oh my god. It's not that great. But I remember it being awesome. It was a fighting game and you'd fight in like gardens or in um, TV sets. I remember being in the TV set. I had a baseball bat. My brother used to throw bricks at me and we used to play baseball. Yeah, we made our own games. And that's what we did as a kid. We made our own little games inside games. Um, that's what I loved as a kid. If you couldn't beat the game, you made the game yourself and you made something out of the game. You, mo you made the most of that because you knew once you had to turn that PlayStation off, that was it. Um, loved this game. It was brutal. Probably shouldn't have been playing it as a kid because it was a brutal game. But, yeah. This game. Time Split is Future Perfect. Perfect being the right word. Favourite game of all time. This game I could talk about for ages. But I put it in here because this game is the fucking best game I've ever played. I love this game. Put this game in any day and I'll fucking enjoy it. I don't care. This game, me and my mate Ryan, we played this non-stop all the fucking time. Every single day. All the time. This is the game. And guess what? They now have a new developer. It's, I think it's called Koch Media. They're a part of THQ. And they now have the rights to Time Splitters, which means a new Time Splitters is on the way and possibly a remaster because they have the right to the old game. A HD remaster of Time Splitters after all these fucking years? If that happens, I am going to shit my fucking pants. Literally, shit will come out my pants in excitement because I can't fucking wait to hear more about this. So when we hear more about Time Splitters, you know this is the source for Time Splitters because this is the game that made me who I am today. In terms of gamer. Uh, can't talk about wrestling games without mentioning the Smackdown vs Raw trilogy. Um, I know it's not a trilogy, but these are three that I had. What's up? Can you disconnect your Bluetooth, bro? Oh, sorry. sorry about that. Um, 
Now, I, I know it's not a trilogy, there's so many Smackdown vs Raw games. The Smackdown vs Raw series was actually very good. A lot of people look over it and just go, you know what, it's old, are they interested in it? But it still has things to say. I remember the first game being so impressed by this game. Me and my mate used to play this. The Hell in the Cell matches, the gameplay was great. It weren't simulator, it was arcade, but they tried to add some simulator elements into it. Amazing game. And you could do the campaign with every single character in the game. The same with the second game, but they, um, the same with 2006. But you know what? They added a two year campaign instead of a one year campaign. I need to go back and play this one and familiarize myself with it. And then, um, 2007, I remember playing this a lot at my cousin. Me and my cousin used to be big wrestling fans, and we used to play a lot of these games. I remember playing this one quite a bit, and it's also on the Xbox 360 if you want a more uh, up-to-date version, and probably on the PS3. But I have to keep, keep it going here, guys. Here's another one. Rampage Total Destruction. Um, this game is actually a, a very good game. I remember I had it as a kid. I just threw it in here. I didn't play too much of it, but um, I remember it, so I wanted to play this one again and familiarise myself. The movie's now coming out on DVD and all this stuff. Um, I don't know how good the movie is. Um, but uh, this was a great 3D Rampage game, and it includes the original um, Rampage and World Tour as well. So you get three Rampage games for the price of one. Can't hate. Oh yeah. Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Um, Spider-Man 1 and 2, the movie game. The third one is eh. I haven't played it myself, but I've heard it's eh. Spider-Man 1 was actually a really good game. I remember this game being pretty decent. Um, it's much more linear. Uh, you can't go on the floor on this game for some reason. You can't go on ground level. You have to stay up in the air. Um, but it was a good step up from the PS1 games. The PS1 games were amazing. Gonna have to do a video on Spider-Man games. I might get all of them and then maybe do a video on them. Um, but yeah, this was great. But in my opinion, the best Spider-Man of all game, until the one that's coming out on PS4, and I am pretty hyped that I might get that game day one. Spider-Man 2. This game redefined superhero games. Superhero games had gotten a so-so reputation. But this game made the web swinging amazing. Look it up. This game, people will talk for ages in pure detail on the web swinging in this game. I love doing all the side missions, do little superhero things. Amazing game. One of the best Spider-Man games ever made. And definitely one not to be missed. Sonic Heroes. Another game that I played more on the GameCube, I think. Um, but again, it's essentially the same game. That's why I threw it in here. I actually like this game. There were three te uh, four teams. Um, and basically, what it was, they're the four teams there. I was Team Dark, of course. Shadow was my character. I always did like Shadow. Um, I still like him to this day. Um, I really enjoyed this game. It was a, a different style of game. You had a power character, a flight character, and a speed character. And you could take all these different paths. Um, it's not the best Sonic 3D game, but it's definitely not the worst. Definitely one worth checking out. As you know, I'm a big fan of The Sims, so I included Sims Busting Out, because I played a lot of Sims Busting Out as a kid. Um, I played the other ones, of course. I played all of them. Um, I think I played every single Sims game there is to this day, apart from, obviously, the expansion pack on PC, you know, Sims 4. Um, but um, I, 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 I did really enjoy this one. I loved the story mode. I loved the fact that you could um, do this game two-player. Absolutely fantastic um, conversion. It's not like the PC game. It's something original. And I even remember playing it on the uh, Game Boy Advance. And um, I can't wait to... Um, I might have to set up my Wii Cube. And, um, oh yeah, if you're wondering why um, this video is quite late, it's because we've actually done a massive um, thing. Heather um, and all these other people have been doing the hallway, painting it. I was downstairs. I just completely blitzed the front room. It's spotless. That's why I had to take these PS2 games off. Carpet's coming next week. When we come back, getting new units, I've completely rearranged my um, consoles. My PS4 and my Xbox 360 are now on that smaller unit. And my Xbox, my PS2 is on the same big unit and the Xbox One is now standing up next to the TV. So, but obviously we're getting new units when we come back. So every single console that I have will be on display. And when I get AV switches and all this stuff, ready to play. So when that's all set up and done, you guys are going to see it. Um, 
Here's a couple of Need for Speed games I had as a kid. Need for Speed, Most Wanted and Underground 2. I do have the first Underground as well, but for some reason um, I don't have it in the collection somewhere. Um, so I don't know where it has gone. I think um, it was one of them games that my mum might have threw, in, threw away, so I might have to, I have to get that game back. Easy game to get. Need for Speed Underground. Um, I played more of the first one. I just have the second one here for reference, but the first one, I loved that game as a kid. Got it for Christmas, loved it to pieces. Um, second one added free roam elements fantastic game to this day um, I don't play a lot of racing games today anymore but these old ones I definitely would go back to uh, most wanted the best Need for Speed game of all time I think that word goes around quite a bit when, they, when this game comes out um, because it's amazing don't talk about the shitty remake or the shitty 2000 Xbox 360 version that's nothing. This was fucking awesome. And I mean awesome. Uh, Burnout. Yeah, um, I only had the first Burnout game as a kid. I really enjoyed it. It was a hard game. I couldn't really get very far on it. But I loved the fast-paced element. Um, the Burnout series only got better from here. Um, Burnout is a fantastic rating series. If you're a fan of Metal Jesus Rocks, he loves his Burnout. So check out his videos because he does a lot of videos on Burnout. And now here we have RC Revenge Pro. This game right here was amazing. I loved RC cards as a kid, as for all the cards. Um, I loved this game. Um, it was a great little racing game by Acclaim. Kind of a hidden gem, actually. It's not the best racing game, but it was a cute, fun little game. It still holds up today. I can't wait to go back to it. What I enjoyed the most about this game was the track editor. You can make tracks. Not the first game, of course. There's loads of games that have done that. Um, but I loved editing your own little tracks and stuff like that. Um, here's another little compilation uh, of Midway Arcade Treasures 1. Um, but the reason why I included it was because of Smash TV. Me and my brothers used to love playing Smash TV. I remember when we got this game and we played it and then we found Smash TV and we were like, this is fucking amazing. Uh, great fun game, Smash TV, similar to Total Carnage, but Smash TV is great. Great arcade game, can't wait to go back and play that. Uh, here's another one, Getaway Black Monday. Didn't really do much of the campaign on this game, but what I did like was the free roam. This was kind of a unique game because it was set in London and of course being British, I love games that were based in Britain, and that's why I do want to finish Assassin's Creed Syndicate. However, I have, I am going to play some Battlefield Hardline and do the campaign in that, or the missions in that before, um, and then so I can go through all my Xbox games. But I, I love the free roam game in this. <sighs> this is a nostalgia trip. Can't wait to go and play through these. Thrillville. Oh yeah, this was amazing. This was a a. a, a theme park game where you could actually run around the theme park, uh, talk to people, create your rides, go on your rides, do arcade games, and the arcade games in this are really fun, the little mini games are really fun. Um, Off the Ra Rails was also on the Xbox 360 and I do have Off the Rails, but I enjoyed the first one um, a little bit more than, this, than Off the Rails, so I really enjoyed that and Thrillville was only on PS2 I think, I don't know if it came out on any other system. Um, I did mention in my sport video that I actually played Pro Evolution Soccer more than I did FIFA. And the first game was one that we had. And while it's not the best football game, of course, I do remember playing it. And I do remember being kind of um, a, a bit confused as why like teams like Arsenal were called like man like were called London Reds and all this stuff. It was just a licensing issue that they had back in the day. It's been remedied now, but the first one had a lot of those um, unlicensed te te um, teams where they actually couldn't use the actual real name of the team, and I remember that. Um, so that's why I mentioned that one. Uh, Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. Loved Midnight Club. Loved this game. Didn't play loads and loads of it, but I did enjoy street racing games, and Midnight Club's a great series. Got all of them. Uh, apart from LA on um, Xbox 360. Kind of a dormant um, thing. A Rockstar title. So you know you're getting a good game. Rockstar don't really make bad games. And this is another one that's really good. Um, kind of a, a dormant series at the moment. Will Rockstar come back with Midnight Club 4? Um, who knows? Who knows? 
Speaking of four, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 mentioned it in my sport video. I just wanted to mention one Tony Hawk game because I had a ton of them and I love this one. Um, I think it was this one that I played the most. Uh, Underground is well. I really enjoyed the first Underground. I don't have Underground 1. I thought I did. Again, that might be one of them games that got thrown away, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to get the first one back. Not a hard game to find. Um, but really enjoyed this one. The second Underground, I was like, eh. Um, Project 8 and American Wasteland I did enjoy as well, but uh, 4 was amazing. I loved the uh, circus level on that game. It was, I think it was that one. Already mentioned FIFA Street 2 um, in my sports video. Again, I had to bring it back up because I really, really love this game. Don't really talk too much about um, sports games on my, on, on my channel, um, but I did enjoy this one and I'm looking forward to... Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, going back and uh, playing this again. Um, I, I had a bunch of 007 games as a kid as well, but I do remember playing this one with my mate Ryan, and that's um, and that's uh, from Russia with Love. It's not the best. What are you doing? I can see you, you idiot. Um, but yeah, I remember this one. It's not the best 007 game, I will say, but I do remember playing it as a kid. I used to play it with my mate Ryan. Unfortunately, this game had one fatal flaw in the multiplayer. There were no bots. Come on, man. If you're going to have multiplayer, at least have bots in there, man. Back in, today, in this day and age, we got online, but back in the day, you had to have bots. Um, then we have uh, Matrix Path of Neo. Um, I really do remember this game. I loved this game as a kid. Um, I loved the... Um, action in this game really great movie based game it, it, does it hold up very well today i don't know some people say it does some people say it doesn't it's really down to personal preference and uh, how how much you can actually um go back to these old games now talking about old games here's underworld the eternal war never watched any of the movies mind you but i had the game as a kid it's sort of like a top-down shooter loved this game as a kid used to play it all the time with my brother Never got, never got very far, but I remember really enjoying this game. Still is a good game to, to this day. Um, kind of one of them obscure movies that you wouldn't think had a video game, but it did. PS2 had so many movie-based games. I'm going to have to do a video on them. Uh, here we have Driver 3. Um, again, really enjoyed this game. It was something... Um, it weren't the best, again, but what I enjoyed was the three-row mode and you got to choose what vehicle you wanted to start in, or a boat, or a bike, or a van, or whatever. I really enjoyed it as a kid. Uh, here we have 13. I've already talked about this game before. Love this game. Film noir, um, sort of shell shaded graphics, and the multiplayer, again, was amazing. The hunt mode was a fantastic basically you would go around killing each other and there was this little grim reaper that would run around the map and if he touched you you die if you shot him you'd start getting smaller and smaller and then disappear but he would make all these weird sounds you can't hide like shit like that um here's another one that this was actually one of the first ps2 games that i got when i brought that ps2 off my mate um sonic mega collection plus it comes with a bunch of Sonic games. So if you're a fan of Sonic or the old Sonic games, definitely check this one out. You just get the first Sonic the Hedgehog, second one, third one, Sonic and Knuckles, 3D um, Flickers Island, which I actually enjoy, Spinball, Mean Bean Machine, some Sega games. Really enjoyed this game. I'm going to have to edit this video for fuck's sake. Really enjoyed this one. In fact, actually, I'm going to do this as a two-part video um, because... I don't want this video to be too long because I've got a bunch more games in here that I need to talk about. So I'm going to end this part here today and I'm going to do the next part tomorrow because it's half six and I want to play some Xbox and stuff because it's getting late and we're watching SummerSlam tonight at 10 o'clock. Can't wait for SummerSlam. Really can't wait for, for that, you guys. And anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and, of course, feel free to comment below. Let me know what sort of PS2 games you had as a kid, what games in general you had as a kid. Um, I've, I've still got a big stack in here. I mean, look, there's tons, there's, there's about a good uh, 30 or so games in here to talk about in the next part. So, um, looking forward to doing that. I'll do that tomorrow. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, again, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. And, of course... Have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.